Welcome to this video segment on Implicit Cursors. This is Claire Rajan and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating the use of Implicit Cursors in PLSQL programs. A cursor is defined as a work area where a SQL statement is executed. In PLSQL programming, there are two types of cursors, Implicit Cursors and Explicit Cursors. The implicit cursor is predefined in the Oracle database and it's used whenever data manipulation language statements are executed such as insert, update, delete and the merge statement. The name of the implicit cursor is SQL. To demonstrate the use of the SQL cursor, I'll be writing a number of simple programs that are going to use a delete statement in them. I have SQL star plus open connected to the database as the user HR. Now to begin with, I'm going to qu do a query on a table called EMP that uh, I created for the purpose of this video. There are four columns in the table, EMPNO standing for employee number, ename for employee's name, salary which is the salary of the employee, DEPTNO for department number. There are three rows in this table. Uh, look specifically at the second row where the employee number is 3, the name of the employee is Rick, the salary 4500 and the department number 10. I'll be referring to this specific employee's record when I'm writing my programs. The first thing I'm going to do is edit a file so that I can write a simple program which has a delete statement in it. This program simply has a delete from EMP where EMP NO equals 3 end and uh, on executing the program that specific empl employee's record should be deleted. So um, running it, it tells me PLSQL uh, procedure successfully completed but it really doesn't tell me anything much about whether the, de the delete happened and if it happened, how many records were deleted. And to see this, I would actually have to query the table. So if I query my table, I can see that employee uh, number three's record has definitely been deleted. Now, uh, before I can go ahead and modify the query, I'm going to roll back the statement so that my uh, employee number three's record is returned to the table. So here we have employee number three back in the table editing the file. Now if I want to see the outcome of this delete and to be able to uh, display messages based on the outcome identifying whether the delete happened or not and if the delete did occur how many rows were deleted then I would have to make use of the attributes of the SQL cursor. The attributes of the SQL cursor are SQL percent found, SQL percent not found and SQL percent row count. The first uh, attribute we'll use is SQL percent found, which will be referred to in an if statement. So I've, I'll say if SQL percent found, SQL percent found takes a value of either true or false. It's true when the DML affects one or more rows. False if the uh, if there is no rows uh, no rows found in the table for the DML to affect. Now, because um, we we do not we do have uh, employee number three in the table, I rolled that that statement. I rolled the delete back, so employee number three's record is in the table. When I uh, if I execute this PL SQL block, it should find the row. So um, I'm, I'm saying if SQL percent found, then DBMS underscore output dot put underscore line row found delete occurred. else dbms underscore output dot put underscore line row not found delete failed closing the if with the end if so I, on executing this particular PL SQL block because the row is available and the delete would have occurred and affected one row the output should be row found delete occurred And that's exactly what's being displayed. It tells me row found, delete occurred. If I query the table, I get uh, the output with all the, the data from the table without the row where the employee number is 3. Editing the file once again, this time I'll use SQL percent not found, which is the opposite 
of SQL% percent found. But what I will then have to do is interchange these messages. So here I've written if SQL% percent not found, then display that the row was not found. SQL% percent not found will be true when the DML does not affect a row. It will be false when the DML does affect one or more rows. Now at this time, the row uh, with the employee number 3 has been deleted from the table. So SQL% percent not found will become true and when I run it, it should tell me row not found, delete failed. So it's here we have row not found, delete field. So I showed you uh, two programs where uh, one of them re referenced SQL percent found, the other one was SQL percent not found. If I want to also know how many rows were affected by the DML, I can make use of the SQL percent row count. SQL percent row count attribute can be used in uh, my in my condition, and uh, I could use it to identify the number of rows that were deleted. Now rather than um, deleting employee number 3's record, I'm going to delete department number equal to 10. Okay, so I have delete from EMP where department number equal to 10 and then I've said if SQL percent not found then dbms underscore output row not found else I want to know how many rows were deleted. So I'm going to say SQL percent row count and then double pipe that with the string that says rows deleted. So here we have um, if if there were certain records that were deleted, SQL percent not found will become false and therefore it will display a count of the number of rows deleted along with the words rows deleted. Now before I run my query, let me do a quick check on what data we have in the table. We have one department equal to 10. I'm going to roll my statement back so that I have two employees in department number 10. So here we have both Bob and Rick belong to department number 10. So when I run that particular PL SQL block, it should tell me two rows are deleted. And that's exactly what's being displayed. There's no space over here only because I didn't put a space uh, in the program. And um, so we have a two which is returned by SQL percent row count and then the, st the words rows deleted. In this tutorial, I showed you how to work with the SQL cursor, the implicit cursor which is available in PL SQL. I hope you find this tutorial useful. For other videos, tutorials and articles, you can take a look at the oraclecoach.com website. Thank you for your time and thank you for listening.